come to realize that most people really don't work towards any of their goals. And I don't know why, but I just thought people like that talked about doing stuff actually did it, but no, most people really don't do any of their goals. You know, seeing that realization and then looking back at myself and seeing how far I came, because you know, most of the things that I said I wanted to do, I've managed to actually overcome. And it's gotten to a point where, you know, I've literally started inspiring other people. And that was really never my intention. You know, honestly, my, my goal was to just document my life and just my experiences. I never really meant to inspire people. The craziest thing that happened to me was a couple days ago, I actually met one of you guys um, on the Metro and shout out to him. But as we were having a conversation, he told me that he actually moved here to Miami because of me. And, you know, hearing that, I couldn't believe it because, you know, to me, I've always just been tired. You know, I'm not really anybody special and I still don't feel special. You know, I'm just, I'm still a normal guy, you know. I just, I still go to work. I still wake up at 4 a.m. Just like you guys, you know, I, I do normal people shit. But hearing that somebody I've never met in my life has moved here to Miami because of me, because of the words that I've spoken, really just made me realize that I have really just outgrown myself as a person and pretty much mostly people around me. And I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of isolating. You know, when I look around and most people, if I do anything like business-wise with them, it's really gonna be me doing most of the work because most of the time they, people just don't act upon anything. For instance, the gym. A lot of people say, I'm gonna go to the gym or I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna do this and that, you know, New Year's resolution, whatever and they never actually do it. So many people, I realize, do that. And it's crazy because to me, you know, when I first started going to the gym, I literally told myself one day that I just wanna to go to the gym, I wanna get in shape, and then I did it. It wasn't even like, to me, it wasn't even like an obstacle. I just did it because I knew I could do it. And now I literally have people coming up to me every day asking like, Ty, do you go to the gym? What do you bench or whatever? And I haven't been to the gym in like a year. I'm not gonna to lie to you, it's pretty, it's pretty sad, but, I just really, I, I'm making excuses, but I've been pretty busy, you know, been doing YouTube and, you know, my nine to five life. Very isolating sometimes knowing that you really just can't hang with a lot of people. You know, not even in a bad way. It's just that most people would rather go to the party, drink, you know, smoke or whatever, than rather making money or complain. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of people that's the complainers that don't, that just complain and don't do anything about it. Don't be one of those people. Like, those are the worst kind of people. And I'm not gonna hate on you because I used to be that kind of person. I used to be the guy that complained and just got mad at my situation but didn't do anything about it. But then I realized, thankfully, that nobody's coming to help me. Nobody's coming to save me. It's up to me, you know. If I want something done, can and I do have the capabilities to change my life, you know. I mean, look for look where I'm at for God's sake. I mean, literally like two, like two years ago on the diet, I used to dream, like literally have dreams of being here at Miami Beach. And the fact that I'm just here on a, what's the day? The fact that I'm just here on a Monday, a random Monday, is crazy. At this point, I don't even know what my, my childhood friends are doing. To give you guys a little bit, a little bit of backstory, there was a couple guys that I grew up with back in my hometown. You know, these guys were my, like, my homies. They were my ride or dies. We hung out every day, we played basketball. We did everything together. And, you know, of course, being me, I always talked about, you know, achieving my dreams and doing YouTube and moving to Miami and being this and that. And, of course, they'll be, like, along with the journey. Like, yeah, man, we're going to all do it together. Let's do it. Let's go. We're going to grind, blah, blah, blah. We're going to stream. And then when it's time to act upon the shit that you said, you know, it's a different story. You know, when, I, when it was time to move here to Miami, um, the only person that moved with me was Jerry. They had other dreams. They had other... They had another pathway, and I shouldn't get mad at them for that, you know. Just because I want to do this doesn't mean I should force them to come with me. But honestly, it was kind of upsetting and sad for me to not have my childhood friends that I grew up with to be here for such a pivotal moment. Beautiful sunset behind me. I mean, gorgeous. Honestly, like, when I look back and I look at my older videos and I see that young me just with so much dream in his eyes, seeing how far it came, it's just ridiculous. If there's anybody else out there that's watching this that want to be an inspiring anything, a YouTuber, singer, dancer, whatever it is, I want to say that, yo, if you just put in a lot, of, a little bit of hard work, a little bit of consistency, you can get anything done. I mean, of course, I haven't made it big time yet, but the fact that I'm getting approached by random strangers is ridiculous. That's what, like, celebrities get, guys. Celebrities. Celebrities get approached by people and say, oh, my God, I can't believe you're real. Like, the celebrities get that, and that's happened to me, and I just... What? <laughs> you know? If any of you guys see me out in public, feel free to like come up and say, hey, 
Um, I might be a little nervous in, in person because, you know, I try my best to be as social as possible, but sometimes I'm not the most social. But, of course, I won't be mean. Come up and say, hey, um, I'm down to talk. Another thing that really sucks with the feeling of outgrowing everybody around you is that you can't really go to anybody for like, help because they don't understand what you're going through. If I'm already outworking somebody, what is it? How can I go to somebody and say, yo, like, I need help with this or I don't know how to deal with this kind of stress? when they're not even like dealing with half of the problems I'm going through. And that's no like offense to anybody that wants to be chill. I'm just saying, you know, it's really difficult to be in a, situ in a, in a position where you're working so hard. And of course, you know, like I'm getting things, I'm getting results, you know, it's nice, it's beautiful, but it's hard to go to anybody else at this level because I'm in, I'm in a position where like, I'm not big enough to find other people that's like me, that's been working hard and grinding and fucking don't sleep and is just making tireless videos. I'm not, I'm not in that position yet, but I'm also, I'm above people that's making like just mediocre videos, not really trying. Like I'm editing sometimes for 10, 15 hours. Like I'm up there, like I'm up with the big leagues. Like how can I go to somebody and say, yo, what do I do when I work 40 hours a week, plus like another 40 to 50, maybe 60 hours on my YouTube? How do I get, how do I socialize? How do I meet, how do I meet more people? Like where do I find time? You know, what do I do when I haven't had any sleep for like two days, but I have to get this video out because if I don't get it out on time, I'm gonna feel shitty about myself because I'm making a promise to my audience. Like, what do I do about that? You know, and I don't have anybody to go to for that. So I'm kind of just having to figure out the answers on my own. Of course, I kind of knew that going down this path was gonna put me here. It was gonna isolate me from pretty much everybody I knew. But I didn't realize it was gonna be this many people. I thought I was gonna be able to keep at least, you know, a couple of my friends, but it's pretty much down to me, me and just Jerry. You know, Jerry's trying to get into the entertainment industry also, but he doesn't really want to do YouTube. And I get that, you know, I'm not going to force him to do YouTube or do TikTok, but he wants to be a singer and slash dancer. Um, but the problem with that is, it's very difficult to get in that. Like with YouTube, at least I have an outlet, and you know, I just pick a camera up and talk to it, and hopefully, for some reason, you guys come listen in. I don't know why. It's going to come to a point where, you know, my YouTube's going to get big enough to where I'm going to have to not prioritize Jerry anymore. Um, of course, I'm not cutting him in my life. I'm not saying that. Hell no. Like, Jerry's my best friend. He came here to Miami with me. Without Jerry, I probably wouldn't be here. But, you know, it's going to come to a point where my YouTube gets big enough, where I'm going to have to make choices to benefit my career over our friendship. And if there's, if there's anything that's going to, like, de like put, about, put the friendship to a detriment, then I'm not doing it, of course. Just simple things like, you know, maybe not going out one night to edit or something, stuff like that. You know, that's going to really suck because, you know, I love Jerry. You know, Jerry's my best friend. We came here together, like we went homeless together, we fucking peed in the bottles together. No, not together, holy shit, well, no, not together. But, you know, we had that similar experience. To think that I'm out there, like, not prioritize the friendship for a little bit, to, like, focus on business. And we realized that we might have to, you know, split up. Because what if he gets so big, he has to go on tour or something, and then, you know, he has to do that, you know? So like, we, we kind of understood that this could happen. But the fact that like, it's actually coming to reality is kind of scary. I want to say to anybody that's out there chasing your dreams, realize this, you're more than likely going to have to be in an uncomfortable spot with your friends because, you know, maybe they're not pushing as hard as you or they're not in a position where they are able to push as hard as you right now. You're going to have to come to a point where you're going to have to not prioritize that love and friendship to prioritize business. I feel very at peace. I feel great, you know, being here, knowing that I did this myself knowing that nobody gave it to me. Like, yo, I dreamt of being, like, this is my dream. I'm doing, I'm doing it, look at this. Sitting at the beach, I couldn't ask for anything more. But if I had to, I would ask for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I'm low-key, I really want to get a 10K. 10K would be like a huge honor. Like, if I had 10,000 subscribers, like, imagine the bragging points I would get, bro, at work. Like, yo, I got 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But no, for real, guys, subscribe to the channel. If you, would be, if you made it this far, you must like me in some capacity. Maybe it's my voice, or the mood I give, or I inspire you, I don't know. I want to say thank you guys for getting me here, you know. To see my dreams come tr like come to reality, like, slowly before my eyes is, like, so motivating. Like, when I wake up and I see a new comment from you guys, and I thank you, Todd, or it's a great video, or I can't wait for you to blow up, shit like that really, like, makes me feel so good. Because I literally dreamt of being here, like, here. I've dreamt of this, and just see that, I'm not done yet, and I'm still growing even faster and faster. It's just, man, you guys are just the best. I want you guys to know that. But um, it was a very lonely experience to grind and want so much for yourself. Even my mom, even my mom texted me or told me one time that um, 
some days she watch my videos and she gets inspired, which is so funny. Like, I'm inspiring my own mother. Like, what? But, um, see you guys in the next video. If you did enjoy, I'm not saying this again. What am I doing? End the video. Goodbye. You're the best. And hopefully, all my dreams come true. That would be, that would be beautiful.